explore www.thingiverse.com. So, for most 3D printers, we use a file type called STL. There are many different websites out there that offer free or for a small fee uh, STL files for 3D printing. Thingiverse is a peer-to-peer -peer sharing 3D printing website that offers free STL files. And we can use these STL files to print on our Flex Mendel open source 3D printer. Uh, 3D printers cannot print photographs. They cannot print sketches or 2D drawings. It has to be a 3D file. So your choice is either A, using CAD software such as Fusion 360 or AutoCAD or Inventor or SolidWorks, Mudbox, 3ds Max, Maya, etc. And you design a 3D file yourself or you go out to the internet and find one that's available for free or for a fee. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, I'm in Google Chrome, I'm going to switch over and I'm going to type in www.thingiverse.com. So I just go www.thingiverse, I was already there, but I'm going to type it in, thingiverse, yeah, can't type, thingiverse.com. That's the word thing, the letter I, and verse.com. And that'll bring you to the Thingiverse homepage. Step two, we want to explore by category. So I want to go up to click on explore. And I'm going to come down here, and there's different ways of exploring things, but I'm going to go by categories. And you can see here, in there's various kinds of categories that you can kind of go in and just browse. Uh, so if you have a particular interest, you can just browse around looking for things. Another way to do it is go up to the search uh, bar up here, and I can click uh, up here, and I can search. And so maybe I'm looking for, our, I'm a fan of the Rush Rock Group. Uh, so I'll type in Rush, and maybe Keychain, all right? And there's lots of keychains out there, but let's see if I can find them. And sure enough, I find various Rush type of keychain. So here I found one right here. And uh, so that's one way of searching, which is uh, step three. And let's say we, I grab this Rush keychain, I kick, click on it, and the internet's slow here today, seems like. And so here's some uh, basic information about it over here on the right. And over here in step four, we can go to thing details. When we go to thing details, it'll give us a summary of what it is. Um, it will have its type of uh, Creative Commons license, some of its keywords so you can search it better, etc. And this is a good place to start to learn about this thing. Next, if I want to download this STL file, step five, I go to Thing Files. So when I go to the Thing Files, it provides me with the files. Okay. One thing I look at is how many things were how many were downloaded, and if the number is high, that means a lot of people successfully downloaded, and and you can kind of go back how many people liked it, etc. Gives you a good idea uh, of you know how much it's being used. And then once I find the thing I want, I select on the STL file. So I select the name of the file. Notice it builds the file down here in the lower left-hand corner. I click on this up arrow, or down arrow, excuse me, and I'm going to go over here and say show in folder. Okay, so I'm going to click on Show in Folder. I click on that, and it'll bring it up, and it'll show it to me in a folder, in my Downloads folder, in my Windows Explorer. Now, I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to copy it, and then I want to paste it in a folder of my choice. So I can come along here and say, oh, I want to go over to Documents, and I'm going to go into my... Um, into my STEM 1502 and I'll go into STL files and I can right click and say paste. 
you can put it in any folder that is your project folder. That gives me a copy of this STL file, which I can now use for 3D printing. So this is Thing Iverse. I encourage you to explore, explore, explore. There's tons of stuff out there. Search for things, explore th for things. You'll find many different things you can 3D print.